Hi everyone and welcome back to Chess for Charity. In this video, I'm going to show another cool endgame puzzle. Okay, so let's take a look here. Currently, the Black Queen is attacking a lot of stuff. Threatening a check, threatening the Rook on b2, the Knight on h4. Even this Knight is threatening to capture here. And then after the Rook recaptures, you win the Knight. So there's a lot going on here. So if you're white, what do you do? So if you want to take a second and try to figure it out, feel free. I'm going to kind of start walking through the answer. Okay. The first move, maybe you got the first move, is rook b8 check. And the reason I say maybe you got this move is because you probably see that the king has, okay, they can't go there. They can go there, and they can go there. So out of these two, which one is good and which one is bad? Well, if they go to g7, they get hit with a fork right away. And this will be white, who's actually winning. So you can't go there. So again, you can't go to g7 or g8 because of the rook. So you have to run to h7. Now in this position, maybe you thought, I don't really see anything. Well, you check again with the rook. Now if the king goes back, you would just repeat, and that would be a draw, which is fine, because you're trying to survive this position. Currently, there's a lot of stuff under threat. So a draw is fine. So instead, black doesn't want to go back, because if they go back, then it doesn't do anything. And they can go to h6, and they can go to g8. So he ruled out h8, because they don't want to repeat. You have to pick between h6 and g8. Well, if you go to h6, again, the knight kind of kills in the middle. Okay, can't do that. So, they have to then go to g8. And this is the moment where it's just such a cool move. This is such a cool move. So, you got a lot of stuff hanging, right? You have the knight hanging, this bishop, maybe some checks, maybe here, maybe there. Despite all of that, the best move in this position is knight f5. What? Doesn't that look like you can just go here, move, and take it? Right? Am I crazy? Well, let's see. Let's go through the variations here. So, currently, white is attacking black's queen. So, keep note of that. You don't want to just take this, because then you'll lose the queen. So, you say, okay, what can black do? And just... When I saw this, I thought you can check here, you can check here, you can check here. You can't check on h4 because this is protected by the knight, but still, oops, let me remove those arrows. Okay. So I have a couple of checks just immediately. And then I even have, I'm being crazy a little bit, that check. But then they, they take, you know. But it's still a thought. So you go, okay, I have a lot of moves here. Let's go through one by one. So the move that maybe is the most um, forcing, perhaps, maybe the way that I thought about it, was queen f2 check. Right, You're right in the king's face. And this is a forced move, because this is covered, that's covered, that's covered. I can't take, which means the only move I have is king h1. And here is the cool thing. In this position, what do you do as black? Like, look at this. There are no checks. You can't go here. You can't go here. Oops. You can't go here because of the knight. You can't go here because of the bishop. And, of course, you can't go here because of the king. No checks. Okay. And the knight can't give check because these are on different colors. So you say, okay, and they're right next to each other. So you say, okay, how do I do this? How do I make this work? Well, the thing is, black doesn't. Which means... Black can't make this move because there's no really good follow-up move. Let's just say you do something like take the bishop, which seems sensible. You get checked, and then the king, kind of like that puzzle I showed in an earlier video, which feel free to check that out if you haven't. The king can try to run out the board, but you're always going to be setting up a fork. So pick your favorite place to go. Either one gets hit with a fork like this. So you go here, that's a fork. 
Boom. You are not... Come on, draw the arrow. There you go. You are not winning. And the same goes the other way around. I check you. It makes sense to want to go up the board. But you go up the board, that's a fork. So instead, the king is kind of stuck on the second rank, or in the first rank. Or in this case, the eighth rank, because it's the other way. So I just keep checking, and there's never a way the king can get out, which means this would actually be a draw. So you take the bishop, and it's a draw. Okay, so let's back up. Is there another move in this position? Well, you can move your king out of the way. That's what the, that's what the computer is suggesting, but it doesn't matter, because you just get checked, and you get checked again. And you want to run away? You want to go here? That's fine. Rook g7 check. You take this, this is going to be a draw. Or white might win if you're not careful. So keep that in mind. Okay, white is actually winning this position. The computer says knight h3 is the best move. But then after rook f1, this knight's looking a little, a little scary. Okay, so let's keep backing up. Crazy puzzle, right? It's very complicated. Okay, so I think we took out this variation pretty well. So what else is there? Like I mentioned, I thought about this check and then pick off the knight. Okay, let's try that. This check. So you want to take my knight? That's fine. I'll take your knight. I take a knight. And then do you want to take this knight? Is this something you'd want to do? No, because it's a check. And then after the king goes to the corner, you just get checked. And what are you going to do here? You want to run with the board? Did you see how this would go wrong? Hopefully you see this. <laughs> you can't keep running up the board, which means if you want to go some other way, like this, that's fine. You want to come on this way? You can't, because that check kills you. And you're going to lose your queen, and it's going to be a draw. All right, that's a draw. So just look at the way the power of these minor pieces. So you can't take my knight. If you take my knight, let me go back, after knight jumps in, if you check me and you take my knight, I'll, it'll be a draw. So maybe you say, let's take the bishop instead. And now, just like before, we're caught in the middle. You come up the board, that's totally fine. Knight d5 check, and just like before, you come here or you come here, you get hit with a fork. Boom. So, let's back up. Let's go all the way to the beginning. So, all the way in the beginning. The first move is to check, and then after the king goes to any of these squares, okay, I guess I can't go here, can't go here because of a fork, it goes here. I'm just amazed by the fact that after this rook check, the king has really just one square, this one, and knight f5 is the move. And there's no good move for black in this position. Isn't that crazy? You want to check me? That's fine. I'll just take your knight. Like, what's that going to do? You see what I mean? There's no good move here. You can check me here. You can check me there. Here. You can move a piece if you want. It doesn't matter. And let's just say black does nothing. Let's just say they take this. I don't know. That's uh, not going to work out. I think I said that already. So... Believe it or not, in that right here, in this position, after knight f5, it's pretty much a forced draw because black has nothing. If you have any other ideas of where maybe black could go, write them in the comments. Let me see what you got because it seems like there's nothing you can really do. You're going to get checked because you're supporting this square. If I want to attack maybe the knight, like if I want to do something like this to attack here, it doesn't work, right? I get hit. And now I'm the one losing. So it's just kind of amazing how this simple knight move, it looks so vulnerable and you go, oh, I could just I could just take this. And then look, yeah, go ahead, take it. And then just you just get checked, checked, checked. It's everything's gonna get checked. It's amazing. But yeah, I just kind of thought that was a fantastic puzzle. And when I was playing it out, I was like, is this really did you survive this after the beginning position? Look at all these threats. So many threats and you survive crazy this king looks like there's not much there but it works so yeah that's it for this video if you enjoy the content
be sure to like on YouTube and consider subscribing. Half of the income that I earn on this channel goes directly to charity, so it helps me out a lot. And it also helps out charity. That's it. Thanks so much. Bye.